I was in Bolivia in 2012. I arrived in, in La Paz around 10th of April 2012 or something. So I arrived in South America in January. I went to Ecuador two months and then Peru one month from north to south. And I arrived in Bolivia yeah, at the beginning of April, I think, 2012. Uh, to the beginning of July, 7th of July, something, so a bit less than three months. But my experience in Bolivia uh, was, uh, well, was great, of course, because it was very varied. I've seen a lot of things huh? with EIA and with others. Because, um, well, with EIA directly, I went on the field, I think, only one week. Only one mission with Marcos in, in uh, Sunkayo community. But uh, I've been I've been along with uh, with the other interns with uh, Zenke Horn that was coming from Germany, and with uh, David the, the other intern that was coming from the United States. Uh, well, I've been in other communities which was not directly with EIA, but I was able to present to these communities what EIA was proposing was doing, and uh, I had a very very good uh, image of Bolivia because I've been in rural communities. That were, that were doing, uh, I would say, the, the fields and the, and the cattle. Others was more for the mines. Then I went into the east, in the, into the forest, which was really different. It was almost like Brazil, actually. So it was, it was really amazing to see such a, I would say, small country that, would be, that could be so different from east to west. Yeah, of course, well, I've been, I've been spending a lot of time in, in La Paz, in the capital, and it was, it was cool as well because I, I had the time to discover it and it was also part of the job for EIA because when I was with the teams on, uh, in, in the city, I was supposed to, to babysit them, uh, to, to bring them to, to restaurants and uh, to touristic activities and to make them avoid the Plata de la Estudiante uh, where there were these manifestations with tear gas and so on. So um, it's, it was also part of the job, it was also interesting, but for me the real Bolivia was out of the cities, of course. Uh, well, uh, when I was uh, in Bolivia, I was there, uh, like to say, for project management. I was not project manager, of course, and there were engineers, uh, local engineers for EIA that were doing the project management. But I was participating in all the organization of the trips, the logistics, and uh, well, uh, bring the materials on site and, uh, and uh, recover all the teams that were all around that were reaching sometimes to the other airport or something. So it was a lot of uh, managing the uncertainty. And that's actually a useful skill for any project management, including Europe, although I was not expecting it to be so crucial. But these were a lot of skills that can be applied to many domains, actually. And also when I was on site, when I was on the field with the teams, sometimes the things don't go like expected. Well, I would say sometimes things go like expected. And for all the rest, you need to figure out some kind of solution that may or may not be a dirty hack that you need to, to figure out exactly with uh, two bits of ropes and, uh, and then the help of the local people. So, well, that also can be useful, but not so, so crucial for my, for my job. Well, sometimes it is, but it's more about, I would say, imagine what could go wrong to, to, to be ready in case it happens. But actually in Bolivia, it's impossible to think about what could go wrong because there are so many things that can go wrong. That, well, not especially wrong, but unexpected that uh, really you, you cannot take everything into account. Huh? I remember that day where uh, the, the city of La Paz was completely blocked by the, the transport sector, all the taxis and bus and so on. They were really preventing all people going in and out the city. So we had to go with uh, with uh, Ruben three days before with all the material to the site to bring it because we knew we would not be able to get out of the city at the day that the team would arrive. So that's, that was also a bit shaking the planning, but uh, well, it was interesting. 